and Holy Spirit. And what does that mean? Learn what it means and apply what it means. Uh, when we do baptisms in the church here, I encourage people, it's not just the act of baptism, it's continuing in life to apply the principle of what you did with baptism. There's a, the baptism of the Holy Spirit is not just being filled with the Spirit speaking in tongues, it's learning how to, because the word baptism means washing, mm. how to cleanse yourself with the person of the Holy Spirit. Whenever we sin, praise God for the power of the blood and the power of the Holy Spirit that can wash us clean. Okay, We all will fail. I can guarantee that if you're going to live for more than a year, you're going to sin again. Mm. You must prophesy that you will sin and fail in your life. It's gonna, we're all going to fail. We're human beings. Mm -hmm. However, what do we do? Some people do it unrepentedly, by the way. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not living with expectation to sin. I'm not encouraging that. But I'm just saying, we will fail in life. You've got to learn what to do. That's why we need the baptisms, the washings of the Holy Spirit. We need the washing of the blood of the Lamb. And um, the baptism of the Holy Spirit, to be empowered by the Holy Spirit, that is something you should teach every new believer. Baptism in the Holy Spirit, empowerment, speaking in tongues, uh, being filled with the Spirit. Uh, this is all foundation stuff. Uh, the next thing is the, the doctrine of the laying on of hands. How about that? Did you know there's a doctrine of laying on of hands? How's that? I have taught it in Lionsville. We practice laying on the hands or we pray for people. There's a whole doctrine about it.